Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna have some fun checking out the XV View 2 Guitar Wireless System. Now, guitar YouTubers like me, showing off wireless plugs is a bit of a trope at this point. We all do it, we've all done it, we'll all do it again, and we always come up with some sort of fun little stunt to do to show off the wireless capabilities of the product, and this video is no different. <laughs> So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna explore and discover what I've been putting my family through for, I think, almost eight years of filming demo videos at home, just blasting ridiculous stereo fuzz through the walls of my home, disturbing my family as they try to go about their lives. I'm gonna plug these in to some sort of pedal rig here, and then I'm gonna walk around my home and Hear what it sounds like. Hear what I've been doing. Hear how I've been abusing my family. <laughs> so let's pull these out and make sure they're all charged up and stuff. That's important. This video is gonna to come to a screeching halt if they don't have power. Well, they're on. I don't know if I need to do anything to pair them or they just go for it but it looks like they're on. So let's set up some pedals and get started. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is my job, guys. This is what I do for a living. Thank you for watching so that I can do this for my living, for my job, for my career. What a trip. So anyways, let's look at this thing I put together. I've got a switchblade splitting the signal into stereo. On one side, we're going from the Earthquaker device's Hizumitis, Hizumatis? I'm really not sure how to say it. I know I'm just getting that totally wrong. And that's going all the way over to the Catalan Bread Cloak Shimmer Reverb. And then, the, and then on the other side of the stereo split, we've got the Beatronic Zombie which is a crazy octave glitchy fuzz going into the Austin Ribbon Mike's Summer Reverb, which is a fun like crashable spring reverb thing made locally. Local guy makes these, he sells them as a kit or as a pre-built thing. I'll have links to all these down below, but check this out. That's fun. <laughs> so let's work backwards through the reverbs. Oh. The most important part. I didn't plug these in or turn them on. All right, so this is the transmitter. This is the receiver. Sounds like it works. I'm gonna be using my Harley Benton Moserite style thing here into the two Princeton's rig. All right, we're all set. Let's check this out. I like that. <laughs> I like that quite a bit. So I've got the amp set at my normal demo volume right now. Uh, nice and quiet. Down at about two and three quarters 
on the volume controls. So I'm gonna walk around the house to experience what my family experiences normally when I'm just playing at normal volume, and then I'll come back and I'll turn everything up and then walk through the house and see what that's like. First, I gotta put on a strap. I'm doing a lot of product placement in this video. I've got this really pretty strap from Rocket Straps. Friend of the channel, Rocket Straps. Go check them out as well. Might as well just cram the description full of links, right guys? Try to make this wireless plug video as interesting as possible. It is a pretty strap. I do like how shimmery it is. All right, got a bit of a walking around rig here with my phone on a tripod and a GoPro 360 for some really fun, trippy, psychedelic transition shots. So here we are in my kitchen, just outside the garage door. Let's see what it sounds like. That's not too bad. I mean, the riff is sloppy, but that goes without saying. I'd say it's not louder than how my kids usually run the TV. Actually, it sounds pretty good. Let's go try in the living room. My family should feel lucky to have all this beautiful music playing in the house for free. <laughs> I'm showing off what it sounds like in the rest of the house when I'm recording my guitar videos. So now I'm in the living room where Henry watches all his Minecraft videos. <laughs> Say hi, Henry. There he is. Henry, how does it sound when I do demos? Is it too loud? When I'm filming guitar? It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk, that's fine. So basically, right behind that wall is the garage where I make all my noise. Let's see what it sounds like in here. Really not bad. They've never complained, and now I kind of know why. I mean, it would be a, a little bit annoying to me, I guess. Be like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to not have noise while I'm watching, you know, my Minecraft videos or whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go see what it sounds like upstairs. Yeah. Now I'm upstairs. We have kind of a craft area up here. Lauren's painting a cool picture right now of a bird in space. And Edith is down on the ground poking holes in paper. Let's see what it sounds like all the way upstairs when I'm playing. I can hear it. I can hear the chugging. I find that fish. I find that fish. But it sounds so far away it could honestly be coming from a neighbor. Do you think, that, do you think that's true, honey? It's yeah, it's just the incessancy of it. <laughs> it never stops, it does never it? Never stops. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, that's not bad. I want to go see. Oh. <laughs> I want to go see what it sounds like in the master bedroom, which happens to be right above the garage. I can kind of hear it in the bathroom. 
which means because it, it's coming in through the bathroom window which means it's like bouncing off the neighbor's house right now I bet the neighbors hear it a lot louder than my family does That's interesting. I'm hearing it way more out of the bathroom window than I am in the rest of the room, even though it's, it's right below me right now. Close that bathroom door. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from a neighbor or something like that. And it is coming from a neighbor, from my neighbor's perspective. And I'm so sorry to my neighbors. Let's go turn up the volume. I'm going to turn the volume up a lot louder, okay, honey? Okay, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I turned the amps up to seven, which is, you know, it's, it's into the point where the amps are clipping. It's not going to get any louder than that. So now I'm all the way in the kitchen. We'll see what it sounds like. I can hear just the humming from the amps right now. I should go see what it sounds like on the side yard, hear what my neighbors hear. I guess that's not too bad. I only ever turn up this loud, like, in a very rare, 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 want to experiment with something and be crazy sort of scenario. Like, it probably only happens like three or four times a year on this channel. Interestingly, I haven't heard the plugs cut out once. Let's give it some real distance. I'm gonna go out on the deck, which is about as far away from the garage as I can get right now.
I think it's starting to cut out. It's hard to tell from here. I can't tell if it's the glitchiness of that zombie fuzz or if the plugs are a bit too far away. It sounds like it's glitching out. Oh yeah, there was a major, major lag right there. It sounds like it's glitching in and out. I'm too far away and it's going through the house. Yeah, when I turn this way, it cuts off. When I turn that way, it still works. All right, back into the house. It actually doesn't sound that crazy out here. Like it sounds like a neighbor is jamming in their garage, but it's not like this obnoxious over the top thing that I thought it would be. Back to the living room. Henry has given up on Minecraft videos and now he's just playing Minecraft. No, Hello Neighbor. Oh, you're playing Hello Neighbor. Is this too loud, Henry, or is this an okay volume for me? It's okay. Do you ever feel like me playing guitar loud in the garage is annoying to you? Yes. <laughs> it really doesn't sound that loud to me. I mean, maybe, maybe Lauren will disagree, but. To me, that that seems acceptable. <laughs> like I said, I don't think I've ever heard my family complain about me being loud, but I've always wondered if maybe I am. Are you ready for me to stop filming this, honey? Yeah. Is it, is it annoying? It's, it's a day. It's a typical day. It's normal stuff around here. I like the way it sounds up here in this room. The way it's channeling through the house right now. It sounds beefy. And it's honestly kind of impressive that the plugs are still working through the entire house like this. I'm not hearing a lag from right here. Yeah, seems like it's right on top of it. Go back into the bedroom and then we'll call it a video. Lauren is worried that the bedroom will be messy. It's not very messy. Ooh, standing right here, I can feel it through my feet right now. That's a fun feeling. All right, that's enough of that.
Let's go turn this nonsense off. Well, that proves it. The plugs work, they really work, guys. A little bit of a lag. It was a little bit hard to tell exactly what was going on because of all the craziness and glitchiness of the fuzz. But there was a bit of a lag outside, way, way outside on the deck, as far away from the house as I could get. But the fact that throughout the entire house, beaming through the walls and everything, I really didn't experience any lag at all Pretty impressive. So yeah, these things work. The X Vive U2 guitar wireless system. So huge thanks to X Vive for sending this out to me so I could do this fun, silly little stunty video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon, buy a shirt if you're naked and stay grounded. Bye everybody.